Deep below this buoy lies something amazing. The layer of a sleeping giant. The skeleton of a metal monster. The remains of one of the biggest ships ever sunken. With structures so monumental, they resemble ancient cathedrals. It's one of the most amazing dives in the world. And also one of the most dangerous. This is the USS Spiegel Grove. Six miles off the coast of Key Largo, Florida, lies the Spiegel Grove. At 510 feet long, it takes several dives just to see it from one end to the other. It is truly an amazing dive site. But like a mythological monster, this giant won't give up its treasure without a fierce fight. A few days out of the year, conditions here are normal and the diving relaxing. But most of the time, an invisible enemy lurks. A current so strong, it prevents most divers from even reaching the wreck. And those who manage, exhaust their air supply in mere minutes. Thus, very few divers venture out here. I start exploring, admiring every oversized detail, like the cranes that long ago lifted whole ships into the dock below. The upper deck observation post and its trademark dive flag. The massive anti-aircraft cannons. The maze of corridors where tragically six divers ventured so far they never managed to find their ways back on time. But even though the wreck seems intent on keeping divers away, it has happily surrendered to its new masters. The dock holes are now patrolled by a school of formidable amberjacks. And as I move forward, I run into a 400-pound Goliath grouper, one of several that inhabit the wreck. Just a few decades ago, driven almost to extinction, but now making a strong comeback thanks to a moratorium on their capture. The wreck is truly an oasis of life, supporting a whole ecosystem of hundreds of species. And though exhausting, these dives fill me with hope. So now it's time for the performance challenge, where I put myself through a difficult test in hopes of inspiring you to join in our efforts to save the oceans. I have chosen to dive to the deepest point of the Spiegel Grove. Here I go. The shortest way would have been down the bow line, but the current is at its strongest there. The only option is to descend amidships and slowly move forward, getting help from the nearby structures whose contours shield me from the relentless pounding. I'm okay to continue but feel vertigo looking down, so far the sand appears.
touchdown. For a few seconds I revel in a spiritual connection to the wreck, for she is to me very much alive, a doting mother to countless creatures. But I cannot linger, the hardest part of the dive still awaits me, I must ascend again towards the light. I will treasure the short time I spent at the bottom, much like a mountaineer does his brief glimpse of the summit. But like all difficult endeavors, it is getting there and back where the difficulties truly lie. At the 3 minute mark, I arrive at the upper deck checkpoint, my last chance to abort and take air from my safety divers. But I continue on. I feel the effects of the long time underwater, but I have managed my energy reserves perfectly and know I can make it to the surface. Here's the line at last. I'm almost home. I hope we manage to transport you here with us and stimulate the desire to join in the fight to save our oceans. Remember, the key to the survival of our planet is to use our energy wisely. Okay, again, okay, great. Four minutes, two seconds, dive time. How long? Four oh two. Is that a good dive? 